what's poppin' my J dolls? You guys, today I am back with another video. You guys, before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell. You guys, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Don't play with us, because we really never been one of them, okay, y'all? So, before I even get into this video, make sure you guys, if you haven't checked out my website yet, you go in the description box and check out my website. I have a plus size lingerie boutique and I do have a couple like straight sizes and bras so just make sure you check that out in the link below and I'll put the link in the comments um so now we're gonna get into the video so you guys today I'm actually gonna talk more about how to have a successful pop-up shop so kind of how to run a pop-up shop how to make it successful what you need to know before you have a pop-up shop i had my first pop-up shop last month and it went really good to me a successful pop-up shop is if a you make a profit so you make more money than what you had to pay for the pop-up shop if you make more money than you had to pay for the pop-up shop it's successful Point like a period, okay, guys. So always go into it with that mindset. Like even if you only pay like fifty or seventy five dollars for the the actual table, as long as you make more than that, then you're successful. Your fucking event was successful. Period, okay. So let me just tell you about my event, how I found the right event. Like it just happened to perfectly work out, guys. So I just want to kind of tell you guys what to be prepared for when doing a pop up shop. Um, so the first thing is doing your research about what pop-up shop you want to do. So I really suggest like there's groups on Facebook where you can look up, uh, different pop-up shop groups. So I'm in one, I think it's called like Black Business Pop-Up Shop or something like that. Um, but there are several other pop-up shop websites or Facebook groups that you could be a part of and that can help you with whatever pop-up shops are in your area or close to your area or whatnot so that's a good place to start but when you start there you want to expand as well like googling pop-up shops or whatever information you can find on the internet obviously and just making sure whatever pop-up shop you go with has a legitimate website sorry you guys are gonna see Chanel but like making sure they have a legitimate website because I almost did this one pop-up shop and they had like a Valentine's, Valentine's Day theme. But they took forever to get back to me like over a day. And I'm like, no, that's kind of unprofessional to me. So like if it's business, you want to make sure you get back to people within a day. In my opinion, um, as a business owner. But people are different. Um, but anyways, she took forever to respond back to me. And then kind of told me that they were booked and I could book next month. I'm sorry, it didn't seem legit. Some of these pop-up shops could be scams, so you just want to make sure, like, you're not giving someone your money and it's not really an actual legit pop-up shop. So make sure they actually have a legit website with pictures of people that have been in their pop-up shop, pictures of customers, like, really legitimate. So, you guys, I found one in Minneapolis, which is called the Black Market um, Pop-Up Shop Event. So, you guys, it's actually really big. It's in St. Paul, Minnesota. You guys, I'm having a pop-up shop Saturday, so... I think this video will be up before Saturday, so if you guys see this and you live in Minnesota you want to come visit me there, you can come visit me. You can come see the girl, okay? But I did that same event last month. Um, before I booked it, I googled pop-up shops and I found that one um, on Eventbite or whatever. And they had a legitimate website. They're actually on the news. I didn't know they were on the news before I went, but they're on the news. Um, and they actually have a lot of customers that come in and know about the event because it's on Event Bite. If you can find a pop-up shop event on Event Bite, that's a little bit more legit to me because customers are going to be able to find it like you found it. So that was pretty cool. So that's how I kind of researched it. Chanel, can you please chill, bro? Can you please? Please. Anyways, <laughs> that's how I found the event. So I was like, okay, cool. So I put my deposit because I was like, oh, oh it was like not even deposit. Like it's just the amount that the table costs. So it was only fifty dollars. So I, I put fifty dollars there, and I made way more than what I put down. So I was like, okay, cool. Like this was a good event. Uh, I met a lot of people, and then on top of that, um, I got followers on Instagram from it from the event, on um, my business uh, Instagram page and stuff like that. So anyways, y'all, so that's kind of how I found my, like, successful pop-up shop event. So I found it there, um, it's 
is for like black business owners and it actually had a great turnout like with customers there was a lot of people like constantly during the whole event there was a lot of vendors there so it was just a lot of activity it was a very successful um venue okay so just make sure that you guys are doing your research on the venue where it's located um if they're doing marketing for the event because if you go to a pop-up shop that doesn't do marketing obviously it's not going to be successful for you because no one's going to know about it um and then you're pretty much going to be having to tell customers or your like clients or whatever to come to the event so yeah just make sure that they actually market they have a, a actual professional website where you can see all of their um previous pop-up shops Anyways, so that's how you just get started to find the actual perfect pop-up shop for yourself. Then next, I would just say like planning your pop-up shop. This is very important, you guys. I did a pop-up shop. I pulled this off in like three days. I don't know how. It just randomly happened. And I pulled it off in three days. And let me tell you, it was not easy, okay? So you guys want to make sure you have the certain things you need for a pop-up shop. So let me just tell you right now what you need. A lot of pop-up shop events do not have tables. So do your research about tables and chairs, okay? So some pop-up shops don't have tables and chairs. So the event I went to didn't have tables and chairs. So just make sure you buy a table, a foldable table, the white ones. Buy a chair, preferably a foldable chair because you're going to be transporting all this stuff yourself. Um, so you want to make sure you have those things. And then obviously you want a tablecloth for your table. You guys, I made the biggest mistake. I ordered my tablecloth on Amazon. And I did not measure my table. You guys, make sure you measure your table before you buy a tablecloth. Because that tablecloth was too small. I will actually put a picture of me with my table and everything like that. But anyways, my tablecloth was just too small. and But I made it work. Like, I just kind of had my friend decorate the sides. And we just put the tablecloth in the middle. But this time, I went back to Amazon because I'm having one Saturday. I went back to Amazon and got a fitted black one. And I might just use the sparkly one on top. I don't know. We'll see what the vision is giving. But anyways, make sure you get a tablecloth. Eventually, I want a tablecloth with my logo on it. But I don't want to pay for that right now. So, I'm not doing that. But if you have the funds or you could do that or your business is, like, booming, I would just, like, buy the logo tablecloth that would be nice especially if you intend to do several pop-up shops if you don't intend to always go to pop-up shops that's kind of a waste of money so anyways you guys so make sure you got the table the chair the tablecloth understanding what type of business you have so making sure you have something with your logo on it or also prices on it so if you don't have your prices directly on your items maybe making a list of like every item that you're selling and what at what price especially if you sell like candles or like soaps or something that's like very like uh everything's gonna be one price or like it's gonna only be a couple variations of price then that's cool or you could do what I do, which I put tags on everything that I was selling because I have different items. It's lingerie items. I have rose sex toys. I have all those things. And if you want to see what I have, make sure you check my website out, you guys. Like, everything I sell online is what I sell at my pop-up shop. And I sold two of my rose sex toys. I have the original brand, you guys, just to let you know. I sold two of them at the pop-up shop that I was at before. And I have two left. And then most of the people that came to my table were drawn because of the fucking sex toys not gonna lie to you guys so anyways you guys so so boom go back to the story so just making sure that you have something with your logo on it so i actually put like a little stand-up sign um that has my logo on it um so people can come up and kind of see what it is and i can talk about it some people will have a little middle centerpiece that they can put on top of their tablecloth that has their logo on it or you can just like print something and like laminate it and maybe sit it on your table. Whatever you need to do, but make sure your logo is there. Also your website um, so that people can like access that. Another thing you want to bring is make sure you bring business cards. Don't ever forget business cards. A lot of their act a lot of people there actually forgot their business cards. That's the first thing you should pack because you want people to be able to go on your website if they want to shop for other things. Uh, if they want to follow your social medias, blah, 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 blah. So you need your business card. So make sure you make a list before you go to a pop-up shop. I'll tell y'all right now. If you're selling clothing, you're going to need a hanging rack. Because if you have so many items, you're not going to want to lay them flat. Okay? So just know that. 
Um, another thing you're going to need, you guys need something to draw customers in. I'm sorry, but candy works. And candy, even people don't care about your business, will come up to you because you got candy. And they just want a piece of candy, but they're going to listen to you because they want the candy. You know what I mean? So, I had free candy and it was drawing people there for the candy. I did have a little girl that... It, wouldn't go away because of the candy but i didn't care i just kept giving her candy i'm like whatever take it um so anyways you guys so yeah make sure you have your business cards with you make sure you have something to package their items with me i use my mailers because i wasn't going to pay for an extra different type of um wrapping so i use my um i have this paper wrapping thank you stickers and then i use my pink mailers um and then i give it to the customer like that uh, because I'm not paying for extra packaging when I already have packaging. I'm sorry, but you guys can do little gift bags or whatever you guys have. Um, also this time I think I want to bring thank you cards if I can go get them beforehand. Like thank you cards are really nice, especially if you can write a personal thank you card. That's really nice. Um, just so that you know. So those are the main things you need. Now let me tell you some things that you don't think about that you actually really need. And I learned the hard way. Now let me tell y'all right now. You need help. Okay. You need people to help you. I thought I was going to come to the pop-up shop and do everything myself. <sighs> no. I'm telling you right now, child. You'll be dead. Like, you'll be dead. Okay. So just make sure you, like, bring people to help you, like, set up and help you take down. Okay. Just make sure you do that uh, to the best of your ability. If you don't have no one to help you. Um, even if you do, I suggest getting a little flat bed, a mini flat bed. I just bought one literally this week because I'm like, no, I've done a pop-up shop now. I know what to expect and the shit gets heavy and then the venue that I go to gets packed like with, with, uh, vendors. So like my table before was all the way to the back of the building and it was a big building. So imagine carrying, I had so many products with me. I'm sorry you guys, but I really do believe bring all your products or most of them because you never know what size someone's looking for. You never know what color they're looking for. You never know if they're looking for some underwear. You didn't bring your the underwear. Whatever, like anything. You never know what they're looking for. And you don't bring it. And it's like you lose out on money. Like, don't lose out on money. So I bought everything, y'all. I had tubs and stuff, tubs of stuff. So this time I bought a flat bed so I could like wheel over my table and I can wheel over my buckets. <laughs> It's going to be smooth and sailing this time, baby. Smooth and sailing. Okay, so anyways, y'all, if you don't have a rolling rack and you're selling clothes and you need to go get one, I, I suggest Ikea. It's only like $17, and it's really easy to set up. You can set it up at your vendor, which I would suggest because if you build it, you're going to probably need someone else's car too because you're going to have to put that in the car. But yeah, so anyways, if you put that, you're going to have to actually have a separate car to put it in there. So, just know that. So, I'll say those are the things you really, really need um, to have a successful pop-up shop. Um, also, I would suggest, so they usually have a time window of, like, how long you have to be there. At this event, it's from 2 to uh, 7. Yes, 2 to 7, you guys. I will also leave my um, business Instagram below, um, and it's, it's a lavish thing um, on Instagram, and I will post specifically the address of this vendor venue sorry this pop-up shop the address i will post the time and you guys can come or if you guys are looking to set up your business uh table there and you live in minneapolis minnesota or whatever then you can like sign up so i'll just put all the information in my instagram posting i already have an instagram posting that has all the information from the previous time it's the same but just the date is changing so yeah so that will be there for you so yeah so just making sure that with the time window they tell you you have to stay to the end but a lot of people was packing up before the end do not pack up before the end stay till seven because you never know that one person might come and they might purchase something um and it just kind of pushes you over that day or they might purchase two things like i had this one girl she purchased uh, like a lingerie set and a robe like she just do what she wants she's like oh yeah i like this do you think this will go with this yeah okay i'm gonna get this too i said okay quick and easy period okay I'll so you never know when someone's going to come and shop with you. Another thing is it is nice to have another person with you if you're at an event because you're going to be hungry or either bring food because you're going to be hungry. You want to get up from your table. You want to go to food. And when you do that, people will come to your table and you might miss sales because I got up and I went to go get food and I missed a couple girls that were supposed to come back, which I don't think they ever came back. So 
yes make sure like you might have somebody with you or I did have this girl that I met there that she was sitting right beside me just to tell them that I'm going to come back and stuff. But it would be nice if you can have someone else with you and like they could close a sale even if you're gone. So yeah. Oh, another thing that you need for your pop-up shop, you guys, is you need a square. A car credit card swiper square. You guys, I, saw, I signed up for this literally, literally, um... I, like three hours before the event you guys like three hours before the event, I was like okay let me get a Squarespace thing so pretty much I registered online on square.com or whatever square up I think square up.com you can just google it and it'll tell you like you can get a free card reader but I didn't have enough time so like you can stop to target and get a card reader it's literally ten dollars guys ten dollars it's gonna save you because everyone wants to use a credit card some people feel comfortable with cash app some people don't some people feel comfortable with Venmo. some people don't some people don't have those so just have a card swiper baby have a card swiper baby period period you want to pay with card and then like cash if they want to pay with cash you might want to bring some change for cash i didn't really like bring change for cash like that because i had change when it was 20s so i'm like Mm, I didn't have none of none of my customers pay with cash besides one person, which was actually uh, the girl that I met at the papa shop that had her own business too. And she had exact change, so it was cool. So, anyways, make sure you have a card swiper. That's the number one thing because most people are using credit cards or debit cards. So, yes, you guys, you want to make sure you have that. Um, make sure you stay the whole time. Make sure you're dressed professional. For me personally, not professional. You, I don't know. Like, you dress nicely. I want to say professional because I was not dressed professional, you guys. I had a see-through um, shirt on, you guys, and you could see my bra underneath. But that was strategically so you could see my product on me, you guys. So, for me personally, if you sell clothes, you might you need to wear a piece that you sell. So people can see like, oh, that's cute. Or oh, that girl's cute. Is she wearing it? I'm going to go over to her table. You know what I mean? So just make sure. And also use that time to network. Um, meeting people there that have their own businesses. Buying and supporting other small businesses. And just like creating that type of atmosphere is great because... I learned this week that networking is very important because I got an opportunity from networking that I'm really excited about, which I'll talk about once I get closer. I have a meeting with this person like next week. But you guys, networking is important when it comes to business. So I think that's mainly the things that I would say will make you have a successful pop-up shop. Obviously, like making sure you, you decorate your table in a nice way. It's not too cluttered. Like, it doesn't look like you're having a yard sale, but they still can look at your products. Uh, it's a it's appealing. Like, you know, people are going to walk by your table regardless. Because a lot of times at Pop Shop, people want to walk by every table to kind of just see what they have. Um, I did cut some of my prices. I actually just cut all my prices on my website, too. So, if you look before and you're like, oh, it's too expensive, please check back. Because I did cut the prices, and I do have Klarna, so you can buy now, pay later. But, anyways, at the event... I cut the prices because I know people at pop-up pop shops are not looking to spend $80 on one item. Like, they didn't leave the house thinking they're going to spend $80 on one item and then maybe buy two items and spend $200, right? So, I did cut the prices a little bit. I still gained a profit because if you cut your prices, you guys, make sure you're still getting 50% profit or higher. I'm sorry. Don't, like, lowball yourself. But, yeah, so definitely guys so that's pretty much how i had a successful pop-up shop if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them down below thank you guys for watching by the way when we hit 2,000 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so you guys we're creeping up there like i'm not gonna lie i've been getting subscribers and subscribers and subscribers right shut down we've been getting subscribers and subscribers and subscribers and i'm like i really appreciate it like y'all really been coming through like y'all been y'all been subscribing lately like this like it like it so pretty much thank you guys all um make sure you like comment subscribe don't forget follow me on instagram if you are looking for details on the event or details on anything with my business um and i'll see you guys in the next video bye